And now let's do uh, let's uh, start building the lighting setup. And uh, and for lighting setup, uh, you remember uh, the theoretical part, right? This is a glossy subject. So let's start thinking uh, this way uh, how we uh, used to think on, uh, uh, you know, um, how we're building our lighting based on the surface, based on the subject. It's glossy, meaning that it will reflect all, all stuff around. And it's cylindrical, right? It's cylindrical. So the, our main work area with our modifiers will be sides, right? We don't care about top that much. Uh, we don't care about much of the bottom. Uh, we care about sides. And because it's, you know, uh, it has two sides, so we need two lights. So let's put uh, two lights on both sides, okay? And uh, I'm going to use this. strobes which I have, right? Okay, I'm going to turn it on. Okay, and uh, the second one sits right here. And you see how we're going to build it, right? We're going to build it exactly the same way as uh, we used to do. And uh, we'll start from symmetrical lighting setup, right? Symmetrically. At least we'll try to do this. Uh, just to see how uh, it will work. So do we have... Uh, yeah, we have our lighting. Uh, let's set ISO 100. We'll try. I'm not sure how does uh, speed lights uh, powerful enough or not, because, well, I'm shooting with uh, a little bit more expensive, a little bit more mm, powerful light, usually, this brown color, uh, but we'll try to do this at ISO 100. And if uh, you see that even at maximum power with that uh, light modifier which you use, the strobe is not bright enough, just go uh, with higher ISO. You can always uh, change aperture get a little bit more exposure. But unfortunately, in studio, we use aperture to set uh, depths of field. So let's say uh, I'm looking at this, and uh, I think f8 will be, I'm not calculating it. Usually, I, you know, I don't need calculator. I can uh, look at the image and see if I got uh, the whole thing in focus or not. For me, it's much easier than to use any calculators. So uh, f8, ISO 100. Uh, do a shot, and uh, we'll see what did we get. We got this. Of course, it's it got reflection uh, from one side uh, because, well, let me turn on other light. Uh, it needs to be turned on. Okay. And another beauty of uh, the Japanese strobe is that it has um, the signal. It beeps when it's ready and it beeps when it fires, which is really cool. One more thing uh, you may need to use, and uh, it's not required, it's just useful. Uh, it helps, uh, you know, to, to shoot in studio. This is remote trigger. So I'm connecting it to the camera, okay? Uh, this is remote trigger, which helps to shoot something. So now we got two strobes from both sides and actually you can see how different color temperature is, right? Uh, one is a little bit bluish and one is brighter. First of all, it's two different strobe uh, manufacturers, Canon and uh, that Yungnino. And second, it has different power. So let me uh, change the power to be the same, 1.8 from full power. Because with speed lights, it changes the color uh, ch temperature with the power. It doesn't have a constant color mode. It doesn't have constant color mode. Okay. 
So now we have uh, almost the same power. Well, we have the same power, but it may be a little bit different because of different uh, guide number. But at least we got uh, same color temperature, which is, which is awesome. But you see, it's all dark. It's all dark because uh, we're getting only reflection. There is no diffusion. Uh, di I mean, the surface of our subject is not diffuses uh, a lot. And uh, the only matte part is the top of our uh, bottle, the cap. So what we're going to use? You know what we're going to use, right? We know. You know it. Uh, diffusers, of course, diffusers. And for diffusers, I'll be using again the least expensive thing I have is those little uh, diffusers made from a screen frame. Okay. Uh, one second. Make it a little bit wider for you. So. The diffuser is savage plastic on the screen frame. Okay? And uh, let's do this. Let's just position our light like this to hit somewhere in the middle of our diffuser. Okay? And let's see what we'll get. Okay, okay. So. The difference is quite visible on one side, right? Now we're getting some diffusion. However, this curve, that part of the bottle, it reflects uh, the whole thing in front of uh, the camera, right? So we need to uh, minimize this gap. And how we can minimize this gap is by changing the way we put our diffuser. What about making it like this? Okay, and by the way, one of the things we may have uh, to change in order to make it work, we may have to use a smaller table, smaller shooting table, because you see when it's too wide, you can get uh, uh, close enough with your diffuser sometimes. Or diffuser can be much larger and the light much more powerful. A least powerful light uh, probably will work better with smaller uh, light modifiers, because with larger light modifiers you need more power, right? So we got it like this, and uh, let's position our another one same way. Okay. So again, symmetrically. Our light. Okay, so let's do a shot and uh, see now how it will look like. Okay, so it looks like we got something, but uh, we lost a lot of power because of those diffusers. Of course, they reduce in the amount of light which hits uh, the subject and gets reflected to eventually to the camera, right? So we're going to increase uh, the power to. I'm going to put half power, half of maximum power, okay, on both of them. And, uh, okay. And we'll do a shot and see. You see how it's easy to use this. And uh, I also have uh, um, a remote trigger, wireless, which is even better. Okay. So you see now how our bottle looks like. And uh, we have um, much better, nicer reflection, but we need to uh, make it look nice. You see, I'm uh, not really doing any like rehearsing of this, so I want to show you uh, the real process, the real uh, uh, workflow of a photographer. Because all my tutorials uh, is based on you know real experience. I am not making uh, same shot again and again on all my classes uh, because you know uh, I think the best uh, way to 
uh, show people is to show all the mistakes and all that stuff. So I'm going to adjust, I'm going to play it uh, right now in front of you. It will take more time, but again, uh, you can rewind if you <laughs> want to skip something or you can uh, watch the whole thing and just get the idea of how uh, it looks like.